Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. This tutorial is aimed towards introducing Rhino to the novice user. I promise there will be more detailed and involved tutorials to come in the near future. I will start by creating a box by using the box feature on the tool panel. This tool button allows you to create almost any three-dimensional form as you can see here. I will get into other shapes in more detail further on in the series. I will click, release, and drag for my horizontal face before clicking again to establish its area. Repeat this process for the vertical face. There are many views of your object at your disposal. You can access these via the shaded viewport button at the top of the workspace window. By holding control and clicking you may rotate the view of your model rather than using the top button that is second from the left. We are going to copy and paste with command C and command V so that we have two identical boxes. Now we'll combine them. This next feature I am about to show you will be key towards additive and subtractive construction. We are going to type the command boolean union. Hit enter and follow the steps the program will guide you through to combine the two boxes. Now that the boxes are joined as one object you may edit them as so. To perform the opposite action you would type boolean difference. Hit enter then select the two objects accordingly. Again, these are only the very basics. There are many other ways of adding and subtracting to your form. To rotate your object, click the transform button in the top menu and select rotate. Select your center point, then choose your angle. This is only one of several ways an object can be rotated in Rhino. Keep in mind that the size of each viewport is also adjustable. As always, Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like this video and subscribe.